Welcome back on this Monday morning and a cool event to tell you about that's coming up at the Hyman Center. It happens on November 16th and it's called Jambalaya, the musical. Our good friend Jackie Lyle is here. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You know, Jambalaya, the musical is a play about South Louisiana yeah, yeah. and the the um, creator of it, Nancy Gregory, who is uh, no, no, pretty much around the world is a great producer, writer, choreographer, director had a family member from South Louisiana, from Lafayette. Yeah. And she was always just so intrigued and entertained by stories. <laughs> she came here in 2003 and spent three weeks and just did research and met with cultural experts. And she went back and she wrote an outline for this musical. And then Hurricanes Katrina and Rita hit. She put it on the back burner for a while. And then in 2015, she met this acclaimed set designer from Lafayette, Joe Stewart, who did the set for Friends and Ellen mm -hmm. and actually did the Republican National Convention the last two times. And Joe said, oh, you have this play. You should come to Lafayette and we should put it on stage and workshop it here. So just about the time the flood happened last year yes. in August, we were rehearsing the play and we put it on stage for the first time in September of 2016 have worked on it a couple more times in New Orleans, and it's been picked up by a booking agency. Wow. So she brought it back one more time, sort of as a thank you to do a little bit more refinement, make some more artistic decisions before it goes on the road. Yeah. This is about the only time that I know of that actors and dancers have been paid to be in the theatrical production everywhere. So it's got its own sort of economic development component mm -hmm. here. We built sets here. We The costumers are from here. And so yeah. it's pretty fun, but it is a fun story. It's about Boudreaux, who's the grandfather, and his son, his grandson, Thibodeau. Thibodeau wants to be a songwriter and is kind of making his way, and it's the point where he's got to decide if he's going on to Nashville or if he's staying here. Wow. And for the grandfather, whether he encourages him to go or tries to get him to get stay him here. To stay. Cultural story that affects every culture yeah. and especially here. Yeah. So that's kind of the basis well, of it. I love that it is someone who actually came here and did research here and saw how it is. Because we have seen, I mean, you don't have to look any further than the water boy to see how South Louisiana is portrayed by people who aren't from here. Right. You know, and so it's really cool. And everything that I've heard about this musical, I know last year when it happened, you know, people were just so excited because it's a regular place. I mean, like regular family dynamic happens, but you just are surrounded by this awesome environment, you know, of culture and of food and of music, right. especially in this one. And the music is great. Of course, there is, you know, some Cajun flair to it. Um, Dwayne Dupsey, who's one of the Dupsey yeah. family, is yeah. the his band is the band at the Alligator Stomp, which yes. is a club. And um, but other than that, the guy who plays Boudreaux is named Wayne, and he is from New Orleans. Uh -huh. But I know somebody like him from Marksville. I know somebody like yes. him from New Iberia. <laughs> I know somebody is. like him from Lafayette. Wow. The characters are. Are familiar and the music what has been primarily written by Joe I'm sorry not Joe by Jeff Barry who wrote Leader of the Pack Chapel of Love I wow. Honestly Love You you know all these huge yeah. hits he has he's has the third highest number of Billboard number one hits wow. of anyone so this show is going on the road it's going all over the place and we have mm -hmm. a chance to see it here before it kind of gets going that's uh, right. november 16th uh 7 30 p.m at the hyman center you can get tickets at Ticketmaster um, and more information at jambalaya the musical.com sounds right. really awesome thank Jackie you so Lyle, much thanks for coming by we appreciate yeah. it yeah we'll get all this information up at kpal965.com and if you're there i'll see you there i have my tickets already yay